this video, I'm going to talk about what I learned about the clarinet from renovating my house. My name is Josh Gu, and after years of studying the clarinet with some of the best teachers from around the world, I am excited to be sharing my knowledge with you. So go to quickstartclarinet.com or check the description on this video to see all of the wonderful resources I have to help you reach your clarinet dreams. And of course, subscribe to this channel for weekly clarinet and music tips and tricks. If you've been keeping up with my content and my videos, you're probably aware that I recently bought a house and had to do a couple renovations on it or wanted to get some stuff done before we moved in. And now I am finally moved in. This is my new sort of recording area. Um, it's not fully set up, don't worry. The uh, music note blanket is still a thing and, and I'm gonna get it hung up on this wall behind me. Um, but I wanna get it started right away with some Back to almost normal uh, quick start clarinet content for you. This one's kind of a fun video, um, and I wanted to share some of the things that I was noticing as I was doing some of the renovations and how that actually applies to playing the clarinet and being a musician. Um, I also wanted to share some of the renovations um, just for friends and family to maybe be able to see um, and also if you're interested to see why my videos have been a little bit shorter uh, this past month but congratulations to everybody who has kept up with the challenge even though it's technically over um, for now uh, you're more than welcome to go back and check those out and leave a comment on this video if you liked those challenge style videos I might sprinkle them in here and there um, or maybe make it a summer thing where we do um, those little quick challenges to, to get your clarinet playing improving. So without further ado, let me talk about what I learned from doing these renovations. So the things that I actually did, uh, my wife helped me too, so what we did was uh, more or less redo the kitchen, painted the cabinets, uh, painted the countertop, which was kind of cool, and did some of the like simple stick-on vinyl flooring. And then I also did a uh, bathroom slash laundry room where I put in the like click together vinyl flooring, painted. We did so much painting. Uh, you'll see in the before and after, we still have to do some baseboards, but um, I also did some plumbing, replaced a toilet flange, a sink, all of that fun stuff. And the thing that I learned that I think is relevant to clarinet playing is is that it's never as easy as it looks. Uh, throughout this process, um, I was learning lots of new things and watching tons of YouTube videos on how to do the floors, the plumbing, uh, all of that fun stuff. Um, I even watched like a 45 minute video on painting and in the painting, or in the, the videos, the professionals always make it look so easy and there's a couple of reasons why and I think that's a hundred percent true if you're watching a professional orchestra playing, a professional recording of a piece, the professionals always make it look easier than it actually is and when you're watching a video or even a performance a lot of the really tedious hard work is left out. So for example, in the renovation videos, um, they almost never show the cleanup, which is a big pain and, and difficult part of the process. Um, and they usually speed things up so it looks like it's much easier and faster than it is. I think the same thing is true when you're listening to a clarinet recording. You don't see or hear the hours and hours of practicing that went into that uh, and they get rid of all of the extra junk especially if it's a CD recording or a professional recording like that when you're seeing a live performance it's a little different but when it's a recording they have the opportunity to redo takes do it multiple times splice things together so it's always comes out a little bit nicer and and gets rid of the the stuff that is not as appealing and as enjoyable. So the next time that you're in your practice room and you're just working away at some technically challenging bit or you can't get a certain interval to work right or just none of your reads are, are working for the day, uh, trust that professionals go through that as well. Um, you just never see it in the final performance or the recordings that you see of the, the professionals playing, but they struggle through it just as much as you do and nothing is as easy as it looks but you can have hope that with lots of practice someday you can be like those professionals who get to sort of show off and, and make it look so easy to uh, everybody else who's struggling through it but they know 
you know that it takes a lot of work uh, and it's the hours and hours of expertise that make those things look easy. Just like the flooring videos I was watching where they had laid tons of floors and knew all the tricks to make it work right, whereas on my first try doing it, nothing went quite as smoothly as it seemed in the video. So when you're practicing, it's okay if things don't go quite as smoothly as you imagine it might go for the professionals. You'll, you'll get there someday and even the professionals still struggle all the time. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this gives you a little bit of encouragement next time you're getting a little frustrated in the practice room. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, definitely hit the like if you liked it. Comment with anything else that you want to learn about clarinet playing wise or music wise um, or renovation wise. No, just kidding. I'm not making a renovation channel. <laughs> um, but if you do want to see the before and after of the renovations that we did do, uh, then keep watching. I'll put that in next. Or you can just go practice and enjoy struggling through <laughs> your, your practicing. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.